Today, I want to talk about the importance of eye contact when you are doing public speaking. I'm going to start with three facts. Number one is that 55% of communication is nonverbal. What does that mean? Well, you're probably emitting way more information about whether you want to be in the room, whether you like this topic, whether you like your audience, just by virtue of what you are showing in your body language and in your eye contact. Number two, it takes 90 seconds to impress someone for the first time, maybe even less. So 90 seconds is all you've got to be able to make that impression that you want to make, maybe on a client, maybe on a colleague, maybe on your boss. Eye contact is going to be one very important way for you to make a great impression. Number three, know that as humans, we pretty much have an understanding of the world with three sensory stimuli. We learn by sight, we learn by sound, and we learn by doing or touch. And usually one of those ways is our dominant way that we understand the world. And usually it's through our peepers, which are our eyes. All right. So what happens if you fail? to establish eye contact when you're giving that all important client presentation or sales pitch. Well, number one, it makes you come across as not confident. You don't actually believe in the idea. You're going to have a tough time getting buy-in from the audience. Number two, when you don't look your audience in the eye, it gives your audience permission to start thinking about something else. They're thinking about their laundry. They're thinking about when they're picking up their kid. They're thinking about the next phone call they have to take. So eye contact is a way to keep folks engaged for a much longer period of time. All right. Number three, when you fail to establish eye contact, what happens is that you fail to get buy-in. And at the end of the day, why are you giving that sales pitch? Why are you presenting to that client? You want to get buy-in. So an important way to do that is with sustained eye contact. So what can you do? today to improve your eye contact. One thing I like to do right off the bat, especially if I'm physically in the room or if I'm doing a Zoom call, is that I arrive early. I like to stand in the doorway, meet people as they're walking in the door, press the flesh, make sure I give them eye contact, listen with my eyes when they're telling me what they want and notice things about them, maybe even point them out. But what am I doing by virtue of this? I'm establishing allies in the room. So when I get up to speak, I have places for my eyes to land because I've already made some friends. The next thing you can do is to make sure that you're scanning the room. I always call it, I like to read the room. Even when I'm interviewing somebody, I'm sort of out of my peripheral vision, keeping tabs on the room. Are people on their phone? Are people talking to their friends? Are people not paying attention? I want to know so that I can quickly toggle in order to be able to keep people engaged. So, and the way that you can do that with your eye contact is to settle your gaze for anywhere between three and five seconds as you're scanning the room. Anything over five seconds, by the way, folks, that gets a little creepy. You don't want to do that. The next thing is to smile with your eyes. Practice in the mirror doing this because again, your nonverbal cues are going to do so much more than you ever imagine. So if you smile with your eyes, especially since most of us are wearing masks right now, is probably something that's going to engender trust and it's something that's going to engender warmth. Number three, and this is my big pet peeve, please don't read your notes. I always have my bullet points. In fact, I have them in front of me right now. I like to read from bullet points. If you're self-conscious about having a piece of paper, put it on a beautiful piece of cardstock, get it printed up so that you have something elegant while you're giving that presentation. If you're giving it on zoom, have those bullet points on an index card and tape it right by where your eye contact and your eye gaze is going to land. Again, you just want one word that's going to trigger your thoughts and bring you back online. If your thoughts start to wander. Remember, eye contact is a way that you build trust. It's a way that you build authority. And if you can really master the art of the gaze, you can absolutely own the room. Hey, I'd love to work with you. I teach people how to be better at their public speaking. I've spent 20 years as a television anchor on major networks. And now a lot more people are approaching me and asking me to train them so they could be better public speakers. I would love to work with you. All you've got to do is email me at info at joyadas.com. And I would love to hear from you. Subscribe to my channel down below and I'll hear from you soon.